Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today I will be doing my very first makeup tutorial. And today I will be doing a goth makeup tutorial. I had for a long time had four different type of looks and now have developed several different looks over the years. And I will be developing my one of my very first looks that I have developed in intrinsically. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do will be to moisturize my face. I'm using the petroleum jelly, but the uh, Baby Love petroleum jelly like this. And I will be applying it on my lips and on my driest um, areas of my face. And you want to do that right after you you wash and cleanse your face. You want to have a clean surface. Once now you work on your eyes. All right. Next, I am going to start off with the discontinued Kat Von D Locket Concealer in White Out. And then we're going to take our blending brush, and then we're just going to open up our concealer, and then. Put some of this and you're just going to put it on your eyelid and that is supposed to create an eyeshadow base kind of like a primer make sure you also get into the, into the corners so you're going to take this and this and put it like this so that you could get the corners that you did not get. And then you're gonna just take the sponge just a little up so that you could just get a little bit on the top part, everywhere where makeup is going to be placed. And then you're just going to do the same with the other eye. All right, now that that's done, would you just fan it a little bit and dry, try to dry it off? Once you're ready to apply eyeshadow, you will start off with the crease. I didn't know this before, that you're supposed to start off with the crease when you apply eyeshadow. I would just apply eyeshadow on the eyelid. Apparently you're supposed to start off with the crease. I didn't know. Next, you're going to need a black eyeshadow and for this, I'm using the three pack compact by Beauty Benefits Hollywood. And I will be using the third one in black right here. And I'm, and I'm using the, I'm using a generic Rite Aid precision brush. I think that's what it's called, a precision brush. I'm not sure. But I'm taking something like this and I need something sturdy. You're going to take the eyeshadow and you're going to do an outer V, kind of like a an eyeliner, over the crease like this. Don't necessarily worry about making it perfect, but 
if you don't want to make a lot of mistakes, you want to do it slowly. like this. It's a little messy right here, but don't worry much about it. And then same with the other eye. All right, now it's time to color the main eyelid. And for that, I'm taking the Color Mates palette and I am taking this dark red, almost mahogany. And I'm taking the Bamboo Better For You eco-friendly eyeshadow brush. And then I'm just going to be applying it on the white. And you want to dab it. Be very careful because a lot of times there's a lot of fallout that comes out of these eyeshadows. Which is why it's always wise to start with, with your eyes first and then your face. So that you could clean off the eyeshadow from your face. By the way... This particular look was inspired by Delaria Photo, who did a lot of goth-inspired makeup tutorials. And um, now she, she doesn't dedicate herself to YouTube anymore. She now has a normal life. Good for her. The look is not going to be 100%. It's not 100% like hers because I, I changed a few things and I made it my own and I made it a little bit more wearable. Wearable enough to where I could actually wear it to work. And then I'm going to take the same brush and take the e.l.f. pressed powder and I will be using that. I will use that pressed powder to color your brow bone. This will help not only give um, color to your brow bone, but it will also help you polish your eyeshadow out. Make it look blended. And with the tissue, clear out any fallout. Moving on to eyeliner, I will be using the Wet n Wild Eyeliner Pencil. And I will be applying it across my lash line, my top lash line, both my top lash line and my under lash line. Connecting them both. You will first start out with a classic cat eye. And then the bottom lash connected to that cat eye. And then also connect the top, the bottom one to your top one, aiming it towards your nose and closing that off. It's supposed to look like this. All right, now finish off your waterline. All right, finishing up with my eyeliner, I am moving on to mascara. And the mascara that I will be using is the 1 and 3 Mascara by Wet n Wild. I do not wear any false eyelashes. I don't believe I ever have... All right, now moving on to the rest of my face. 
and I'm leaving my eyebrows for last so that my beauty blender doesn't get dirty. I am going to start off with foundation and the foundation that I will be using is an unbranded foundation. I believe you get them from China. A friend of mine get, give this, gifted this to me for my birthday and he will be selling makeup. Taking my beauty blender from I don't remember what brand but taking this beauty blender I will be pumping out just a little bit just enough so that I could use some for the longest time when I did foundation I would do warrior like painting on my face, warrior-like foundation. I will go like this. And then like this. Now that you have your foundation all over your face, you'll want to blend it all out. Next, I'm setting my foundation with pressed powder. And the powder I will be using will be from LA Colors using the Candy Couture powder brush. Going back with my mascara, I will be using that to brush out my eyebrows and paint them in. I like to arch mine. I have this arch is more pointer than this one. So we're going to have to make this. You have to, you have to train your hand to brush out this way. Taking your eyeliner or brow pencil, you will polish it out as well as draw a arch on the other one, or yeah, an arch on the other one. Next will be blush. And I don't have any blush right now, so for that, we'll be using some lipstick as Cream Rouge. And the lipstick for that will be the Wet n Wild lipstick in Cherry Frost. We're gonna spread it across our cheeks just like in Inglorious Bastards. You know, pack out your face like this. With your finger, you're going to um, blend it down right into your foundation and powder. I feel like a Rococo girl. I should do an 18th century inspired Rococo makeup someday, someday, sometime soon. Now going back to your powder, 
you're going to want to go over the red so that you could camouflage the excess red. Final step in our makeup process will be our lips. For the lips, I'm using the Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild in pitch black. And I got this for Halloween. I can't find my waterproof one. And I remember getting a bunch of these just in case I ran out of black lipstick. These are lifesavers, but they, they're really creamy and they wear off, they wear off each time you eat. I'm gonna start off with a kind of like, kind of like an X. My lips now look like a mustache. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, and you're going to slowly bring down your lips like this. Making sure that this lip, the lipstick down here, doesn't go all the way down. And then you can just fill it in. Alright guys, that completes our goth look for today. I'll be back with more videos, so please, please stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me today, and have a very good night. Bye!